Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here to do your reading today for February 1st to February 15th, 2020. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign Scorpio. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, show us the messages we need to see for Scorpio. All right, hold on here because I like lost the whole deck. <laughs> Let's try that again. You know what? These cards are just too big and um, they're so clumpy. Just going to pick one. We'll just pick which one should we pick. Angels, show me what I need to see. Let me take that one. Bottom of the deck, we do have be willing to express love. Express love in order to receive love. And this card says, focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. Oh, that's nice. Angels, divine spirits and guides, come on in and help me deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Scorpio for February 1st to February 15th, 2020. Show Scorpio what they need to see. All right, Scorpio, here we go. Angels, show my Scorpio friends. All right, listen, once again, what is going on, Scorpio? The, um, Universe has a lot to say to you. Let me flip the deck around. Can we have... Okay, there's two. We'll take two. Eight of Wands. Uh-oh. Seven of Swords is in your past. It's okay. Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Angels. Show me, show me. Confusion. What does Scorpio Yes. Man. I couldn't get an answer <laughs> whether they wanted me to take it or not. They're usually pretty quick. They say yep, yep, yep when I touch a card, but I wasn't getting nothing from that one. Almost let it go, but it does kind of make sense. Confusion, confusion. All right, two more cards, angels, please. What is going on with my Scorpios? Show them the message they need to see. Scorpio, Scorpio. Ta da! Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Wands, the Fool. Like, wow. That's really awesome movement. New chapter, wheel is spinning, new direction, passion, excitement. Beautiful. What's with this temperance in reverse? Hmm. All right, let's see what we got. Probably because you're not getting along with someone. You need to make a change. Okay, Scorpio, the first card that you have for your past is the Eight of Wands, sign of Sagittarius. That's my Ain't No Stopping Me Now card. You're on the move. It does represent communication, distance, social media. It's also something that happens very quickly. You may meet a new person and fall in love very quickly. Because the Eight of Wands is my arrows of love find their mark. The next card that you have is the Seven of Swords, sign of Aquarius. I just don't feel like there's deception here. If, there is, if, if this is a deception-based card, that means that somebody cheated on you and you were unhappy. But you met somebody new very quickly. I'm getting a one-night stand here. Sneaking around led to a missed opportunity in love. I feel like somebody's moving here. I just keep hearing moving. 
somebody is keeping very quiet about what they're doing. There is a big change that's coming up that's going to happen very quickly. There's movement and communication all over this reading. I feel like you're being very quiet about something, Scorpio, being very strategic. You're communicating with someone at a distance. I'm getting like this Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that is your energy. I'm unhappy, I'm sad, I feel lonely, I feel unloved. You may be meeting people on the internet secretly and like not letting your family know, like not letting anybody know because you're getting away with keeping a secret. There's something that nobody knows. There could have been a breakup that you're not telling your family as well. There's some kind of secret here. Like, I, I don't know. Hmm. Like you're upset about whatever this was, but you are moving forward. You are communicating with others. You have met someone. This could even be a good friend, but you're keeping it a secret? Hiding the truth? Hiding your options? I feel like you know something, Scorpio. I mean, this is a new relationship to me. Somebody's in love and they're not letting anybody know. Page of Pentacles is here. Yes, this could be a business deal. You could be communi communicating with someone, possibly over the internet, about starting a new business, being curious, researching, you know, making a future plan, kind of, sort of, but you're just keeping it a secret. You're not letting anyone know. I feel like these changes are really good, whatever this is. You could be in a relationship that you've been keeping secret from your family, and now you're ready to take it to the next level and move in together. So now you got to tell your family because when they come over, they're going to be like, hey, who's that person living in your house? <laughs> There's also a wedding proposal here as well. Somebody's popping the question with an engagement ring. I will say be open to a new person that is coming into your life. Do not be confused about this person. Do not think that they are hiding something just because people did that to you in the past. Because this is beautiful, beautiful. The moon also represents fear. Like this would kind of say to me that you're afraid to make a decision. You're afraid to make a choice because you're worried you're going to pick the wrong cup. But that's options. I feel like if you are dating over the internet, I feel like you have multiple suitors. If somebody wants you bad. Somebody's not letting this go. This might be coming up for you. This might You might not even know what I'm talking about because this is February. Someone may have a moon sign of Aquarius or Cancer. I feel like you're just having some anxiety about making a decision. I don't know. Should I move forward with this person? Are they genuine? I don't want to get, you know, wrapped up back in this again. Like I'm afraid of deception. I'm afraid of a relationship. You may be hiding your feelings from a new person, like not expressing love. Because this card over here says, be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. So you're hiding your feelings. You're hiding the fact that you really like this person. And you're confused about speaking up. You're having anxiety about telling them. I don't know if I want this to move forward. With the Page of Pentacles coming up in your future, I feel like there is going to be messages here. I feel like there's talk of moving a relationship forward. Like, hey, maybe we should get a place together. Maybe we should get engaged. Maybe we should start to think about having children. Like, I really like the Page of Pentacles. I like all of this communication moving forward. Yeah, you were unhappy and there was some deception over here, but everything going forward looks gorgeous. Page of Pentacles is manifesting laying a foundation for future success. Developing skills. Mm, I don't really see that unless you have a job offer from somewhere and you're hesitant to go and do it because you don't know anything about it and you would have to learn. But that's okay. They're willing to teach you and you'll be fine. This could just be a promotion. This looks like a job promotion to me. 
If you recently went on a job interview and you were wondering if you were going to get it because they had so many applicants, it looks like you're getting the job because here's your communication coming in that's going to make you happy, your stability, things are changing, the wheel's spinning in your favor, this is your destiny, the knight of wands, new direction, very quick, 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 quick. Something's going to happen so fast here. And then what was under there? The fool. There's a new beginning here. Taking a chance, taking a risk. You're going for something, Scorpio. You don't want to be in this energy anymore. Like, I feel like you're just figuring out your options. You have a lot of options. You just don't know what choices to make. Choices about where to live where to live like distance like could be another city another state someplace by the beach by water this is going to jump off that cliff there purchasing a home purchasing a business property like apartment that you know duplex something like that this is an offer whatever it is you're going to take the risk or if you're questioning if you should take the risk it looks like you should Maybe it's something that has seven apartments. I mean, you got this 1111 card spirits trying to show you something. Trying to show you that whatever this is that you're getting ready to do, it's a good idea. Major Arcana's all in the upright position. You're going on an adventure. That the universe is dropping in your lap. I love it. Something's going to come up unexpectedly because I keep hearing quickly, quickly, quickly. You're going to have to make a decision really quickly. It's something new, something new, something new. Something is coming in. Something unexpected is coming in. Um, let's pull some Kipper cards. I don't, just don't know what this is. If you're going to get a job offer like out of the blue. Toil and labor. All right. That's work that someone doesn't want to do. Okay, can we have message of concern, bad health. That's an interesting one. There's something new. Bad health can always signify depression because I'm getting that with the Ace of Cups. So you were unhappy because you had to work so hard. Maybe you expressed to your boss that you're depressed and you don't want to work there anymore because you want to go start something new. You got a new relationship or something here, Scorpio, that looks like it has a lot of potential. I love it. What's under there? Official person. Something's being made official. Finally. Someone's getting married. Someone's moving in together. Someone's getting a job promotion. I still just keep feeling like this is more of a business opportunity than love. All I can say is congratulations, Scorpio, and good luck on your new adventure. It looks like a beautiful reading. I'm sorry that I can't really pinpoint exactly what it is. There's so much communication here and something happening so quickly. But whatever it is, it looks good. Good luck with your situation. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.